Hi everyone and welcome back to the Penang Way. I'm once again where I left off, where the, the Bose Loop um, finishes its circle. Um, from now on the Penang Way is not going to split very much. Um, I am just between Blackton Reservoir and Baldersdale Reservoir. There's Blackton, smaller reservoir. And then just here, probably make out the the wall of Baldersdale Reservoir, which was built in, I believe, the 1960s, and it's much bigger than this reservoir and Huey Reservoir. Well, it is raining on me. Um, possibly going to have some thunderstorms today, but I'm hoping to see some more water today because we're going to follow the river Tees for a little while and possibly see some cool waterfalls so maybe this rain will make them a bit um, more spectacular than normal so let's head on out and the first part of the journey today is going to be heading towards Milton in Teesdale I don't like approaching cows while they're in corners, but I'll try and be quick. Ugh. We've done the first mile already. I've been gone about half an hour and look at my boots already. Oh dear. It's pretty muddy. And at least these are zip off so I can take them off at some point when I drive home. Looking at Grass Home Reservoir near Loondale now. See that the water level is quite high because we've had a lot of rain the last few months. Well I'm still very very muddy and I've also got some stings on me now from nettles that I went through. Um, some pushed up against my leg and it, it's swabbing a little bit but um, not too far away from Middleton in Teesdale now. Got to get up, up over these hills and then drop down um, into the Tees Valley. Um, and that's going to be a nice, um, I think about one third of the way today, maybe a bit more. Unfortunately, I'm too messy to actually go and sit down in a restaurant or a pub and eat something. So I'm not going to have a warm meal in Middleton like I was hoping for. Um, but I do have sandwiches and other supplies, which I've not touched yet. Yeah, the rain's actually holding off. Uh, I've mainly got my waterproofs on as a windbreak right now. Um, that's a, a nice day to be walking, not too bad at all. Just stopping for some lunch here, sat on a bench. Quite nice view. Okay, I'm going to be careful going through this field because of the sign. You can see the cows in the field, including a bull. Uh, but I can't see any cows here. But that doesn't mean they're just not over that little dip. Turns out they were just over the rise. 
Um, they also in my way. I need to get down there near that brown cow. So I'm going to take a nice diversion up here. Now they don't seem to care. Well, the potential thunderstorms have held off quite nicely. Just a, a light drizzle that hasn't stopped yet. But I'm actually drying off from, from walking. And the cloud's just high enough to give me at least some views of the hills. Okay. Two and a half hours and I can finally see Middleton in Teesdale. But I'm just taking the camera over here for a second. Point out this clump of trees. Okay, so looking at a clump of trees and that's actually a Bronze Age burial ground called Kirk Carrion. The trees were planted um, last century. I think it was the 1930s or something like that, but Underneath there is meant to be some sort of chieftain. Now Kirk means church, so it might even be some sort of holy site. Not sure if they've ever done any excavations there or even ground penetrating radar, but there it is. Quite a nice spot to spend eternity. There's Kirk Canyon from the side. I'm still making my way down into Middleton in Teesdale. There it is, and then I'm going to walk up Tees Valley. Should be nice. Though there are some darker clouds coming in. That might not be so nice. Well, the Penang Way is going to continue up there. But I'm just going to take a quick detour into Middleton. Because I've never actually been when I did the Penang Way 12 years ago. I just turned left here and kept on walking. So, we'll take a quick few shots actually inside the town. So, this is the cattle market, but as you can see right now, it's empty. I guess today's not market day. Okay, so here's the River Tees. Okay, it's a fairly nice little town. Um, I've just sat down on a bench and ate my lunch. So now I'm going to head on out um, back down to the Panang Way, and I'm going to follow the river tees. Well, the river tees is a ways down to my right. Um, the Penang Way has led me away from it for a while. Now I'm going through lots of fields. I'm actually making very good time. I'm able to travel very quickly across these fields. Back with the River Tees now. an hour for Milton in detail.
Look how dark this river is. It's just completely black. Well, I just crossed Winch Bridge and I'm looking at Low Force. Some small waterfalls just here, and river teams. So, a really cool place to sit and stop. So, here the, the river will have eroded its bed and hit some hard windstone rock. And that's why these waterfall steps are formed. We're actually going to keep heading up the River Tees on the opposite side from where I am right now. A wonderful place to be a walker. I'll be the judge of that. I'm quite fortunate today that low force seems to be flowing quite strongly. Now we're going to head up to high force, so I've got um, high hopes for that now. Okay, I'm starting to hear quite a roar, so I can only assume that I'm getting quite near to High Force Waterfall. Zoom in on High Force a bit, you can see the different bands. You've got this Dolorite on top, and then Shale below. It's a 6 9 foot punch pool. It's not the highest waterfall in England. Um, Hard War has a single highest drop um, above ground. Underground, it's under Ingleborough. Um, but this is one of the most impressive waterfalls you're going to see in England. There used to be a second drop here, but since they built Cow Green Reservoir, which is further upstream, not enough water usually flows for that, for that second waterfall to appear. If it rains really heavily, then sometimes you'll see the second waterfall, but it's not been raining quite hard enough. Okay, so the route from Milton in Teesdale to High Force took about two hours. Uh, it's pretty good going, that's right where I was hoping I'd be. Got about another hour or so of walking to get to Forest in Teesdale. This is actually a quarry. Just across the river Tees. Uh, it's still active and quite a few trees planted. I think they're trying to hide from you the quarry. It has made such a wonderful formation out of that rock. The weather's starting to get a little bit worse now. It's raining a little bit heavier than it was, but I'm almost at Forest and Teasdale, so the day is almost done. Ooh, and I made it to the road about 200 meters or so away from where my car is. Oh, but it's raining quite a bit, so I'm going to be glad when I get there. Been gone six and a half hours. Um, it took three hours to get from Middleton in Teesdale to Forest in Teesdale, which I'm happy about. Oh, I just need to get off the road, there's a car coming. Oh, well, I'm back at my car now. 
happy to be here because it's starting to get a little bit wet. Um, saw some great things today. Low force and high force waterfalls were, were fantastic. In fact, the entire RT section was fantastic. Looking forward to next getting out here again, doing another segment on the Penang Way. So, see ya. <laughs>